What is going on guys, 2 to 3 Frank the Tank here, and I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a US carrier group in DCS, how to add static units to it, and uh, how to give it some escorts and a route. So if you were trying to make a video, or you know, if you just want to make a mission and have a nice carrier to take off, that's you know, all jazzy and you know, looks nice. So the first thing you have to do is go on the left here, to the little ship icon is to add or modify a ship group so this is going to be your your main ship group you're going to select stennis place it down say right here and then over here on the units you want to just add a couple now it's going to show up a bunch of stennises this is your waypoint but we'll get on that later so it's going to be a bunch of stennises here but you're obviously not going to have five carriers just escorting each other let's make it five so you're not just gonna have five carriers together. So what you're gonna do is this will be your main carrier because it's the first one you place down. So that's your main unit. And you're going to click each unit individually and switch the type of ship. So Oliver Perry will make this one a Tycon Deroga, just like in Star Trek. We'll make this one another uh, Perry class and another Tycon Deroga class. So this is your ship group. If you move this around, they all stay with it, right? So let's tidy that up. So this is your ship group, right? This is your carrier. And this is the first waypoint. What you want to do is adjust the speed of that waypoint. Typical carrier group goes about 28 knots. So make sure that's set to 28. And then uh, every waypoint you add from now on will you know keep going 28 knots so the way it goes is you're just gonna click here here start shallowing it out here there's just just imagine this is the patrol route for this carrier so this is our carriers route and uh, you're gonna keep looping that as much as you want and um, all right so now you're wondering, I zoom in and all I see is this icon over here. How am I supposed to figure out, you know, how to put planes on this carrier? You know, I don't see any options, whatever. This is something that took me a bit to figure out. And um, it's really quite simple. You see this little tank icon on the very bottom of your screen? You're going to click it and that's going to show you the actual units on the map. It'll show you, you know, topographical view of what they look like. And this is how you add a unit so this is the first unit this is the stennis and what you want to do is over here this little bridge icon on your left up here you're going to click that and that's to add a new static object this is going to be USA and you want to do uh, planes and then let's see we'll start with the S3 tanker and you want to just put it here but this is not the only part you want to click it then you want to link the unit and it's going to be linked to unit 001 001 being the stennis so it's being wonky oh offset fixation <laughs> so offset fi uh, if you don't turn my bad if you don't click offset fixation it'll just try to stay in the middle so you offset the fixation and now you can move it around where you want and then you use this little compass over here to physically point each aircraft where you want to point them. So you could also copy and paste these with Control C, Control V, and uh, it shows the wings unfolded, but they're gonna be folded. So don't worry about it. When it spawns, they'll fold automatically. So then we'll um, and also it will be already linked to the carrier. So. Let's see we're gonna we're gonna use the same copy here but we're gonna change the unit itself and you can make that you could put a 135 on on a carrier if you feel like it it's not gonna do anything it's gonna be a static unit or you could just you know add f18s f14s now my recommendation is if you have a lower end pc that just can't handle you know too much detail put an a model f18 which would be like the the less detailed version you see and you can change the livery and whatnot because if you put a C you could go you could go right ahead and put a C I'll put C's because my computer can handle it but not everybody's computer could take you know the high detail model 
so just put whatever liver you want you know control control v just go crazy go wacky with it if you feel like it you can do whatever you want and then let's put here this is called jurassic park because this is where you already know what's coming <laughs> This is where you put the horn, not the hornets, uh, the F-14s. So it's called Jurassic Park. Put one here. And one important thing to note is that uh, on the carrier, you have to make sure that none of the units are passing this red line. That red line shows you where an aircraft landing or taking off from a catapult, where it will get blocked. You know or in the way I should say not block so just you know be careful make sure that you don't put anything in the way so we'll put another F14 here the wings should be swept enough to keep it bango bango looks good so that, that that's an easy way to just make your carrier look a lot more lively you know like an active carrier just put a bunch of statics everywhere we'll put a helicopter just for why not <laughs> not a heliport a helicopter so we'll put a is there any sea hueys not hueys my bad uh 60s uh1 Oh, there we go the ch60 that's what we need so offset fixation link it to the carrier it's gonna be good good to go so very easy to just make make it look no I didn't need to copy that <laughs> very easy to just make your carrier look better and more lively like I said just by um, adding some of these units in make sure that these are all linked to the carrier So these are all linked up. We're just gonna have one more plane. We're gonna add an AWACS. So let's see, let's add this 14 here. Swap it out for an AWACS plane. Let's see, E2D. There we go. There's your AWACS blocking the cat. That's okay. We just won't use that cat. <laughs> Here, we'll put it sideways like that. Doesn't look very realistic, but who cares? So this is your carrier. It's all lined up nicely. You could add more units, go crazy. You could make it so it's not even sailing. And then you want to add your own plane. So we'll go here, find F-14B, put it on the carrier. Now, it's very important that, um, that, that you don't delete it. F-14B, move. You want to make sure that you're taking off from ramp. So there you go. And then you could kind of place it on a catapult if you feel like it. Let's see, take off from parking, parking hall. Take off from runway. You got all these different options. Just gotta make sure that's on the carrier solid line it up with these waypoints all right so that's your carrier the carrier group and then you've got your waypoints on where to go and then you've got your carrier all jazzed up and pretty that's basically it I'm going to spawn this mission fly the mission sure and not carry group to PP. No, I, I didn't turn on my track IR for this tutorial, so it's gonna be a little weird looking around with a mouse. But I'm just gonna still show you guys, you know, how the carry looks. And Post processing Frank here. I forgot to lower my game volume, so I'll just voice over.
You've got your AWACS, you've got your F-14s on deck, you've got your nice high fidelity F-18s, you've got your SH-60s on a deck and it's looking good. So there you have it. That is basically how to, you know, jazz up your carrier and make it look better. And one more thing I'll show you is how to add a SH-60 flying around and following the carrier back to past tense Frank. Yeah, back to him. Just for fun, you could go ahead and... Uh, Mission editor. I like to do this sometimes. I'll grab a helicopter, an SH 60. So there's the, the waypoint speed. I'll set it to 28 knots, like the carrier. And I'll set the altitude to 400. And uh, basically, <laughs> you can have it following the, the carrier around, give it a little bit more. Um, give it a little bit more character or I should say a little more scenery if you wanted to as well you can add you know planes flying around and all that so let's see how that looks real quick save the changes whatever so there you have it the carrier is moving you've got it decorated with static hey it's me again future Frank and um, this is to show you guys the SH-60 that's hovering above the carrier. So as the previous tense, Frank is trying to fiddle around with mouse looking because he's not used to not using track IR. He's trying to look for the helicopter and uh, maybe he sees it, maybe not. He goes to F3 view and there it is. Anyways, that is how you do it. That's how you make your carrier look nice. And uh, Make sure if you like this tutorial to like and subscribe and help my channel grow and stuff like that. It'd be cool. Anyways, thanks for watching and peace out.